started many months ago comes to fruition today. The International Conference on Emerging Global Trends is here again at Christ Campus for the third time and expands or closes only to repeat the cycle again in the same or opposite direction. Like a lotus, it opens and closes, dies and is born again. Such is all unquote. Hence, we surround ourselves with people that want more from life, that won't settle for anything that is average, people that you can connect with on a fresh and deeper level. A circle full of quality, not merely quantity. That's the very purpose of bringing together minds from all around in collective knowledge generation and enhancement. The multifaceted Nobel laureate from India, Rabindranath Tagore, in his offering of songs, Gitanjali, praise to God, I quote, I ask for a moment's indulgence to sit by thy side. <laughs> Polytechnic Institute, the Conference Convener Dr. Darshita Ganatra, Conference Secretary Dr. Bhumika Chnani to proceed to the days. Seto, our outdoor publicity partner, Global Publicity, our media partner, Aptak, radio partner, Red FM, 
Ashwin Metal Industries, Jamnagar, and KK Investments. I welcome you all. May I now invite the principal of Christ College and the conference chair, Dr. Ivan Fernandez, for the welcome address. President of the function, His Excellency Bishop Jos Chitabarabil, Bishop of the Diocese of Rajkot, His Excellency Bishop Gregory Kaya Temple, Bishop Emeritus Rajkot Diocese, Chief Guest Dr. Lamin Chait, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Gujarat Technological University, the inaugurator Dr. Pratapsi Chauhan, former Vice Chancellor, Saurashtra University, our keynote speakers, Dr. H. Sri Harbanji, Honorable Rector, University of Indonesia, and Dr. B. A. Prajapati, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Hem Chandra, Acharya North Gujarat University, Patan, <coughs> Honorable Vice Rector, NDAC, University of Indonesia, our valued guests, Dr. Mehul Rupani, other than Dean, Science Faculty, Dr. Sanjay Bayani, Dean, Faculty of Management, Mr. Chetan Kotari, President, Rajkot Management Association. Our plenary speakers, Professor B.J. Rao, Dr. Rusweti, Dr. Nena. Resource persons, Dr. Nandini Kanan and Varda Murthy. Director, Christ Campus, Reverend Father, Dr. Benny. Principal, Christ Institute of Management and Conference Chair, Dr. K.J. Pankachin. Principal, Christ Polytechnic Institute, Ms. Nymphia Gopia. Father Ranish. Dr. Darshita Ganata, Conference Convener, Dr. Bhumi Kajnani, Conference Secretaries, Chairs and Co-Chairs for different sessions, our sponsors, invited dignitaries, national and international delegates, faculty members, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute pleasure and a privilege to welcome you to this scholarly gathering, the third International Conference on Emerging Global Trends in Humanities, Science, Technology, Commerce, and Management <coughs> Education 2018, jointly organized by Christ Institute of Management and Christ College Rajkot. <coughs> Christ Campus has served as a center of higher education since 1998. The campus encompasses Christ College, Christ Polytechnic Institute and Christ Institute of Management, and it caters to the needs of more than 3,000 students in different programs. Christ Campus is characterized by an enduring legacy of education and infinite opportunities. ICE GTE 2018 brings together intellectuals on topics of common interest, that is, the Emerging Global Trends in Education. The conference is a humble attempt to create a platform to understand and discuss various issues with respect to the influence of changing world scenario and the emerging global trends in the education system in general and its effect and experiences in different continents in particular. It's a matter of immense pleasure to welcome His Excellency, Bishop Jos Chittaparambal, the Bishop of the Diocese of Rajkot and the President of the Function. We are indeed honored and blessed by your presence, Your Excellency. On behalf of the entire Christ family, I extend a warm welcome to you and thank you for accepting our invitation to preside over this function. A hearty welcome to you, dear Bishop. I am extremely happy to welcome His Excellency, Bishop Gregory Carr Temple, Bishop Emeritus, Rajko Diocese, and the founder of the president, the press founder president of Christ Campus. I'm really, it's really gratifying to have your presence amidst us today. As I extend a cordial welcome, I also thank you, Your Excellency, for gracing this occasion. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome the chief guest of the function, Dr. Naveen Shaid, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Gujarat Technological University. <laughs> A renowned educationalist and an administrator, Professor Shaid has started his academic career way back in 1979 and during the course of time has emerged as a tireless academician and herbal scientist. 
His dream, vision, mission, and efforts are directed towards making the Gujarat Technological University a world-class university in the field of science and technology. So we are indeed honored by your presence today. A hearty welcome to you, and thank you for accepting our invitation. I am extremely happy to welcome Professor Pratap C. Chauhan, the inaugurator of the conference and the former Vice Chancellor of Saurashtra University. Sir has always been there with us at different events. We heartily welcome you, sir. It's always a pleasure to have your presence on our campus. A warm welcome to you, sir. It's a pleasure to welcome the keynote speaker, Professor H. G. Harmanji, Honorable Rector, University of Indonesia, and our chief event partner. A hearty welcome to you, sir, and thank you for the support in organizing this event. It's an honor to welcome Dr. P. A. Prajapati, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Vice Chancellor Hemchandra Acharya, North Gujarat University Partner. <laughs> sir, who is also the keynote speaker for the day, possesses over 37 years of teaching and research experience and a rich experience in university administration. A hearty welcome to you, sir. I'm extremely happy to welcome our special guest, Dr. Mahendra Padalya, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sri Guru Govind, University Godra. Welcome, sir. It's a pleasure to have you on this class today. I extend a warm welcome to the Honorable Vice Rector, Endang University of Indonesia. Ma'am, we cherish your presence amongst us today. A hearty welcome to Dr. Mehul Rupani, other than Dean, Science Faculty. It's always a pleasure to have you on our campus, sir. Thank you for readily accepting our invitation. We are honored by your esteemed presence, Professor. I also extend a warm welcome to Dr. Sanjay Bayani, Dean, Faculty of Management. Sir, of course, is present with us in many of our locations. Thank you for gracing the occasion, sir. I extend a cordial welcome to all our plenary speakers, Professor B.J. Rao, Senior Professor, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, Dr. Rusweti, Professor, University of Indonesia, Dr. Nina, Faculty Professor, Philippines. I extend a warm welcome to each one of you and thank you for accepting our invitation to interact with the delegates. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our panelist and resource person for the Faculty Development Program, Dr. Nandini Kanan, Consultant, Finishing School, Education Department, Government of Gujarat, and Associate Professor, Department of Economics, MS University, Baroda. Welcome, ma'am. I extend a hearty welcome to our panelist, Dr. Rajesh Jain, Professor, Institute of Management, Nirma University, Dr. Jain is a recipient of the Siksha Ratan Award and National Merit, Merit Scholarship. I also extend a warm welcome to the resource person for the Student Development Program, Mr. Varda Murthy, an entrepreneur specialized in human resource and education management and founder of People's First Leader Academy. A word of welcome goes out to all our session chairs and co-chairs and panel of judges as I welcome you, I thank you for sparing your valuable time to evaluate the presentations during the day. I'm extremely happy to welcome our main sponsors, Season Hotel, a hospitality partner represented by Mr. Nanda Kumar, the general manager, Federal Bank, by Mr. Shashi Dharan, Outdoor Media Partner Global Publicity by Simona Javed Nathwani, Print, Audiovisual and Digital Media Partners of Tuck, represented by Ms. Sheetal and all our other sponsors. As I welcome you, I also thank you for your support. I also take this opportunity to welcome Reverend Father Dr. Benny, Director of Christ Campus, Dr. K.J. Tankachin, Principal Christ Institute of Management and Conference Chair, Ms. Nymphia Gogia, Principal Christ Polytechnic Institute, Reverend Father Ranish, distinguished guest and invited dignitaries. A special welcome to Dr. Darshita Ganatra, conference convener, and Dr. Bhumika Ajnani, conference secretary, 
faculty members, dear students, and delegates to this conference. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to all present at this third international conference on emerging global trends in humanities, science, technology, commerce, and management education 2018, jointly organized by Christ Institute of Management and Christ College, Rajko. Thank you. Mental gratitude. I request Father Anish to welcome Bishop Emeritus, Bishop Gregory Caro Temple, with a flower. I request Dr. K.J. Tankajan, the conference chair and the principal of Christ Institute of Management, to welcome the chief guest, Vice Chancellor Dr. Naveen Shet. I request Dr. Ivon Fernandez, the conference chair, principal, Christ College, to welcome the inaugurator, Dr. Pratap Singh Chauhan, the former vice chancellor of Saurashtra University. <laughs> Dr. Ivan Fernandez, I request her to welcome Dr. Pratap Singh Chauhan. Ms. Linkia Bokia, Principal, Christ Polytechnic Institute, to welcome Dr. Ed Shri Harmaji, the keynote speaker and director of Universitas Vijaya Kusuma Surbaya, Indonesia, our chief event partner. I request Dr. Darshita Ganatra, the conference convener to welcome Vice Chancellor of H. Chandra University, Dr. B. A. Prajapati, and the keynote speaker. <laughs> I request Dr. Bhumika Achmani, the conference secretary, to welcome the guest of honor, Dr. Mahindra Padatya, Vice Chancellor, Gobind Guru University, Godra. I request Dr. Arvind Akshan, the head of the Department of Physics, Christ College, to welcome Dr. Mehul Rupani, Syndicate member and other than Dean of Science Faculty. Dr. Pranam Bhuva from Christ Institute of Management to welcome Dr. Sanjay Bayani, Dean, Business Management, Saurash University. I request Dr. Sushmita Ganguly, the head of the Department of Chemistry, to welcome Dr. Mrs. Nandini Kanan, panelist and resource person for Faculty Development Program with the booklet. My request Dr. Charmi Kothari, head of the Department of Microbiology, to welcome Dr. Rajesh Jain, the panelist for our inaugural session. Professor B.J. Rao, our plenary speaker for today.
may request Dr. Padma Andalam to welcome Dr. Vasvati Surya Sapatra, the plenary speaker for today. to welcome Mr. Varga Murthy, the trainer and motivational speaker for the student development program. May I request Mr. Kalpesh Vankani to welcome the our hospitality partner, Seasons Hotel, the representative, Ms. Richa Bhatt. I request Dr. Neera Vyas to welcome Ms. May I request Mr. Gaurav Bora to welcome Ms. Sheetal Vegda, our digital partner, from Google Publicity. CMI, Bishop Emeritus, Rajkot Diocese. Today's Chief Guest, Professor Manin said, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Gujarat Technology University, Inaugurator, Dr. Pradhaf Chavan, our Honorable Former Vice Chancellor, Salvesta University, uh, Professor B.A. Rajapati, to keynote speaker, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Hem Chandrajaya, North Gujarat University, Professor Sri Harmalji, keynote speaker of today, Rector, University Trust, Jaya Kusima Surabaya, Indonesia, Professor Dr. Mahendra Padalia, a special guest of the day, uh, Vice uh, the uh, Vice Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Sri Govindpur University, and then you know, like the Vice Rector from Indonesia, Dr. Nusreti Surista Putra, Dr. Nena Badila, and Professor B. Jarao, today's plenary speakers of different sessions, Dr. Nandini Karnan, and Dr. Varadha Murthy, the resource persons of today's FDP and SDP. Dr. Rajesh Jain, panelist. Dr. Mehul Rubani, Dr. Sanjay Bayani, special guest of the day. And our respected sponsors of the program, Mr. Amish Nurichan, Mr. Shashi Dhanan, Ms. Simona, and Ms. Sheetal. And all the chairs and co-chairs, and panelists first. Father Vinay, Father Anish, Dr. Yuan Fernandez, Ms. Nithya Gugiam, Ms. Dashida Ganatra Conference Convener, and Dr. Bhumi Achnani, the Conference Secretary, all my fellow faculty members, delegates from different parts of the country, different parts of the world, let me say, and all my dear students. Good morning to one and all. International Conference on Emerging Global Trends in Humanities, Science, Technology, Commerce, and Management is the third international conference of its kind organized by Christ Campus. The first one was on the theme of Transgenerational Entrepreneurship 
economy and innovation dynamics for sustainability. And the second one was on the theme of global business and innovation management trends and competitiveness. We are citizens of a VUCA, volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world, and hence, we need to understand the changes happening around us. Intelligent are those who predict the future and change before change makes it compulsory to change. Over the past decade, we have witnessed the downfall of so many big corporations. At the same time, we have witnessed the growth of many such enterprises which were nowhere in the maps of corporate world. A deep diagnosis reveals that those who were able to be proactive have, be, have come out to be successful corporations. With such changes happening in all the phases of our life, how can we ignore the roots of all the development? Yes, I am talking of education. In a day-to-day -day life, it is seen that we discuss about changes happening in all the areas, be it social changes, economical changes, psychological changes, or technological changes, to name a few. But we often fail to reflect on the mother of all these changes. In today's knowledge-driven economies, access to quality education and the chances for development are two sides of the same coin. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Today's world witnesses a fast and phenomenal rise in the interaction between communities, societies, and nations due to the information and communication technology revolution. Every country is going through a massive and amazing change to meet the ever-growing needs of the modern world. Some are revolutionary and some are evolutionary. With the passage of time, education has transformed itself to meet the needs of the society. In the beginning, for hundreds of years, children educated themselves through self-directed play and exploration. That was learning for survival. The priorities in the world of education have witnessed a remarkable shift from time to time because of influence of social needs. The emphasis on humanities as a source of culture shifted to the emphasis on science and economics, shifted to technology and management, and now is witnessing a revolution in electronics and communication. The course of higher education has undergone a tremendous change. One of those classical examples, classic example of the transformation took place in the field of education is the Pali Kodam concept of Saint Kuriyako Selyas Chavara in Kerala. In order to generalize education and give its benefits to the grassroots level of the society with much value added than socially useful citizens. But today's world has forgotten the necessity of value in addition to the intellectual formation, character shaping, and confidence building of the students. Shaping the world by the intellectual act of that social segment, the teachers, thus the teaching fraternity becomes the true celebrities of the society. One of the major social challenges now is to be addressed is, are we in the real path as is needed by the time? That's a question. There was a time at which True learning of values started from grandma's lap. Fascinating stories, events, wonderful narrations about heroes of ancient times, narrating the deeds and adventures of heroic or legendary figures or the past history of the nation has given the children immense role models. These stories are the true creators of world leaders. Fast moving world has left not a single minute for such a renovation in life now. Forgone are those days. The ancient Vikram Vedal stories are not the case studies of current times. The cases of Vedal have been sold by Vikram Aditya. Many things what we do in the field of teaching and learning have been originated before hundreds of years ago. Our ancestors started from Gurukul, the real practical learning centers. From there, we reached into highly sophisticated, complex educational systems, now turning towards no school in the form of virtual learning. Ancient learning methodology was practical learning only. A lot of examples can be explained from ancient literature. 
the starter from practical learning methodology shifted to theoretical turning higher education institutions to degree mills now turning towards practical learning so on and so forth trends was now the congress firm witnesses trends was triple helix of university government industrial engages trends was massification of higher education call for research university and research environment trends in curriculum design and input what is being taught output net socially desirable outcome cognizance trends to waste creation of global citizens and global competencies trends in setting global performance indicators of higher education institutions are the indicators which necessitates a kind of global discussions this international conference on emerging global trends in humanities science technology commerce and education icegt 2018 is a humble attempt to create a platform to understand and discuss various issues with respect to the influence of changing world scenario and emerging global trends in the higher education system in general and its effects and experiences globally in particular to add to this it's a humble attempt to discuss and disseminate changing world scenario and the emerging global trends in the higher education system in an perspe indian perspective as well as foreign perspective to get, get greater to get the intellectuals with the dissemination of original research is one of the basic objective of this intellectual meet the scope of this conference constitutes the areas of humanities <coughs> science and technology commerce and management and for students alone there that is all this will be presented in three different tracks of academia and a special track is made for students and there is a panel discussion on the conference theme ends there is a student development program hope as this year this conference will add values to the knowledge base of participating academy and students presence of a galaxy of vice chancellors learned academicians from all over the country and the rest of the world will add flavor to the discussions and deliberations the conference has received an overwhelming response from various part of the country the response received from students is not worthy even globally that is we have uh, participants from delegates from indonesia philippines students from iraq egypt yemen let me conclude wishing all of you to achieve brand days charged with high voltage academic ambience thank you very much to all very reverend bishop majo state parambal president dashcourt calvary samaj and president of this function bishop gregory karotimbre the founding bishop of christ campus dr navin shet vice chancellor gujarat technological university and the chief guest of the function dr pradeep sit chauhan the inaugurator and the former vice chancellor of rash university and my guru dr h sri harmat ji vice chancellor university of vijaya usma surabaya indonesia dr b a prajapati vice chancellor patna university dr mahendra padilia vice chancellor godra university dr mehul dubani dr sanjay bhayani dr nandini kannan dr rajesh jain professor vijay rao dr riswedi dr nena mr varada murthy mr shashidharan mr mr nanda kumar mr shitan mr jaydeep brenka reverend father anish dr tangachan dr yuvan finanis mr mrs nimpya bogia dr deshita ganetra Dr. Bhumi Ganesani, dear participants in the conference from various colleges, and my dear colleagues and students. Upon the subject of education, I can only say that I view it as the most important subject which we, as a people, may be engaged in," says Abraham Lincoln. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the third international conference on emerging global trends in humanities 
Science, Technology, Commerce and Management Education. Jointly organized by Christ Institute of Management and Christ College, Rajkot. Understanding the changes that have taken place in the education sector worldwide in the past half century is a difficult task because of the scope and complexity of those trends. One can, without risk of exaggeration, speak of an academic revolution, a series of transformation that have affected most aspects of education worldwide. However, com comprehending a dynamic process while it is taking place is, is not an easy task. The academic changes of the late 20th and early 21st centuries are more extensive, that they are truly global and affect many more institutions and larger populations. The fundamental forces of propelling the contemporary revolution are easy to discern, but much more difficult to integrate and comprehend. This International Conference on Emerging Global Trends in Humanities, Science, Technology, Commerce and Management Education is an attempt to create a platform to understand and discuss various issues with respect to the influence of changing world scenario and the emerging global trends in the education system in general and its effects and experiences in different continents in particular. I place on the court the efforts taken by Dr. Tangachan, Principal Christ Institute of Management, Dr. Yuan Fernandez, Principal Christ College, Rajkot, the conference chairs, Dr. Darshita Ganatra, the convener, Dr. Bhumi Anchanani, the secretary, and all other staff coordinators and the student coordinators of the conference. I wish all of you an academically fruitful time and a happy stay on our campus. Thank you. Has authored many books, research publications, who has to his credit many minor and major research projects, acclaimed resource person, and a guide to many research scholars is the inaugurator of this session. I invite you, sir, to address the audience. The respected our chief guest, guest Professor Naveen Bhai Seth, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Gujarat Technological University, my colleagues and former Vice Chancellor of Saurashtra University, and at present, the Honorable Vice Chancellor at Sri Govind Guru University, Godra, my senior colleague and present Vice Chancellor at North Gujarat University, Professor B.A. Prajapati, sir. The rector coming from the University of Indonesia, particular Sri Dr. Harman Ji, that basically yesterday visited the Department of Management at Saurashtra University, Rajkot. And we have a, a MAU with the University of Indonesia and Saurashtra University, the Vice Rector, other the delegates from the Indonesia, the delegate and keynote speaker from Philippines, the delegates, many the keynote speaker, a resource person, the other syndicate member, and other than Dean, Dr. Mehul Rupani, the Dean of the Management Faculty, Professor Sanjay Bayani, Professor Kitesh Shukla, the Director of the Christ Institute of Management, Professor K.J. Thangan, the Principal of the College, Dr. Fernandes, the Convener of the Conference, Darsita Ganatra, and Conference Secretary, Bhumika Ashnani. 
many delegates from various part of the country, outside of the country. Dear friend, the topic in the third international conference put aside by the a Christ Institute of Management and Christ College and many partners. The one of the partner is a Saurashtri University and a GTU. We decided at that time to what is the global trends and higher education and particularly the humanities, science, technology, commerce and management education. Dear friend, in this country, we have 850 plus a university, comprising, including the central university, state university, Delhi university, and private university. And we have a 43 million students studying in the undergraduate PG program, MPhil and PhD program. And we have a very close to 51 thousand higher education institution in the country. The higher education system is started before the freedom, 112 year, the Macaulay system, to produce the most of a clerks, supporting staff to the British ruler. And now after the 77 decade is already over, the changing, the transforming the higher education, the day by day, the new government has started the process of a new education policy in 2014. The draft in force is already ready. It is going to implement in the next year. We are afraid we have a lot of challenges. The, the biggest challenge is the placement. Whatever the, we uh, produce in the graduates and all brands of knowledge, 43 million students are there. We consider the one third the every year they pass out from the APC, UZ, and the master program and APC program. But what is the placement? The employability is a big question. My dear friend, I am giving the goal a trends related to the a global GDP. The US itself is producing a $70 trillion economy in the world. Chinese is producing $11.9 trillion economy. India itself is producing a global GDP $2.5 trillion economy. Dear friend, our contribution so far, the population is concerned, we are very close to 17%. But we produce in the global GDP a very close to 2.5%. And at the time, the complex higher education system we produce every year in many graduates and the millions students. So far as the one survey is concerned related to the professional course, only 35% students are employable as per the needs of the industry, service, and utility organization. The remaining 65% people are not employable as per the needs of the industry or organization. What are the questions? The question is, we have a tier 1 category of institution, tier 2 category of the institution, and tier 3 category of institutions. We are placed in the, the global ranking. The QS ranking is there, the global ranking, the Geotong, Shanghai University, Shanghai Index rating system is there. We are not anywhere in the 150, the best university in the world. We have IIMs, IITs, the very reputed institutes, but so far the parameters is concerned, we are not uh, fulfilled the requirement of the international parameters. And that's why Honorable, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has started the process in the last year. In the last convocation address, in the Patna University. They offer the 10 institutes from the public, means the government institution, and 10 from the private university. We provide 1,000 crore rupees to any individual university from 10 from this government and 10 from a private to comparable to any global university. My dear friends, I am giving the another data 
are related to the Chinese University. The Chinese has started the reform process in 18, and then they, they started from the global ranking in 2000. In the early stage, not a single university of the China and anywhere in the global ranking in the initial stage. But you go through the detail of the 2018 QS ranking, or in the a previous ranking, many institutes and universities are there in the a global ranking. The because of the focus of the the university for global and local, they have identified. Now we have started the honourable our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has started the process to focus and provide a sufficient for the a global university and some universities, the local university, to provide needs of the local requirement. And that's why this topic, the global trends in the humanity, science and technology, and commerce and management. <coughs> Dear friend, the India is a potential market for the, the higher education. Many, the Indians is entering the Europe and America every year for higher education. I have visited the Princeton University, Harvard University, MIT. Everywhere you can get the Indian professor in the management technology. And whenever I visited in the China in 2008, China is worried about the technology's concern. And Silicon Valley, the 40% Indians, they're focusing the Silicon Valley and the technology sector. People are aware, the many multinational companies managed in CEOs from the Indians. And they are studying in the very local, the fundamental primary government school. And they are now rich to top. There were IIMs and IIT, the one third faculty members is not filled up. The question is, we need a good trained skilled teacher. That is the one of the, the criteria. The second criteria is the needed for the a comparable international standard infrastructure is needed. And third is, we have to change the pedagogy for the higher education teaching system. If it is not managed, the next 10 years is very, very crucial for higher education in the country. My dear friends, once again, I am welcome to all the delegates from the various part of the country, outside of the country, many keynote speakers, they are waiting for the, you know, the talk. So I'm not taking it too much time in, in the inaugural session. Thank you very much. Bharat Mata Ki Jai, Bande To his credit, he has been the member of various peer teams of MAG and awarded Lifetime Achievement Award by Indian Society of Pharmacognosy. He is the chief guest for this inaugural session. I invite you, sir, to address the gathering. Respected the today's president, Bishop Marjos Chakrapati, my colleagues, the Honorable Vice Chancellor and today's keynote speakers, Dr. Prajapati, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Mahindra Padriya Ji, other dignities from different corners from outside the India, and my young budding participants, students. I feel pride privilege to be here in this campus, which is inaugurated by the, uh, our former president, APC Abdul Kalam. Actually, after a long time I came in this campus, my daughter was studying here in the 2002 in microbiology, then his uh, graduation. Uh, in biotechnology from this institute. And after that, I came first time and really in a short span of time, there is a very good development of this campus. I'm very happy to be in this uh, ever-growing campus. Dear friends, this is the third international conference. And the scope of the subject, topic, is very wide. And really it is needed because every subject, every area is related, interconnected. Any researcher 
He cannot work best in any isolation. There is an interconnection. Suppose uh, there is a uh, project by the Indian government and Iran government, a gas pipeline from Iran to India. And one has to study the risk management. So the risk management is not only the conventional a financial risk management. There is a number of risks related with this project. It is a social risk, political risk, country risk. There may be a number of other factors. So every subject is interconnected. So it's a very good topic. And in all humanities or science and technology management with the global trends in education. So there is this in current era, the technology is developing, changing very fast. Suppose in last June, there is one conference, international conference there in Germany. I was there in Germany in a same uh, city, there was another conference related with the management. And when Dean he is describing the 10 global trends in management education. So it is after June, this is uh, the March, but it is now not the 10 trends. The trends is ever changing. It may be a 12, it may be a 15. So ever changing in this. Uh, fast growing technology changing. So the conference, the different topics, <laughs> discussion, deliberation, definitely it will be very, very useful to the young buddy researchers, scholars, students. It will be most useful to them. Dr. Chauhan is already explained that our is a country with a young minds. And definitely, there will be a number of innovative ideas, creativity in a young minds. And it is a single platform to deliberate. Yesterday I came from Delhi. There was a festival in Rashtrapati Bhavan, the festival of innovation. And there is an exhibition also. So number of innovators from different corners of the country, they exhibit their products, their ideas there. And they are from the different caste, creed, vision, area, uh, even uh, the literate, illiterate. There are a number of farmers from Kerala. They have developed a different, uh, a very good strain of a different medicinal plants and other things by their own minds, applying their own minds. And they have created a very good uh, products and the different strains. So I'm, I just visited and really impressed. So definitely uh, our young mind has capacity to face the challenge. But sometimes they are not having the enough opportunity. Even one professor of the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore said that the creativity of his students is skills in educational institutes. Means what sometimes the students come with the ideas, new ideas, new innovation later on. Then later on you do everything. Keep it up. And we are killing their creativity. They are not and just they are memorizing the things writing in the question answer book and uh, getting these certificates. No skill, no new idea, no innovation. So, now, and Dr. Chauhan has already explained that in Silicon Valley, 40% are Indian. Still, our students, they are escaping from India. They're thinking to go out of India. This is very uh, uh, bad thing. Because to go out for study, for research, it's okay. It's a very good strength. 
escaping from India. Why? Because they don't have pride for this nation. And from very young stage, they, they are not uh, spending what our contribution toward Indian science and technology. Suppose, Lebanon is a very small country, but each young student of a gold standard, he knows that in my country, this city, all these structures and everything, it is developed by a Indian traders, Indian businessmen, Indian laborers. Before 4,000 years, they came on horse, on elephant, on camel, and they have developed this country. So there are 10,000 persons in Lebanon. Their first name starting with Hind. Hind Rasul, Hind Ismail. These are the different names. The first name is Hind. Just to respect that these peoples came from Hindustan and they develop our countries. But our students, our teachers, he don't know. So the students, the young mind, he don't feel, he don't have pride for this nation. And it cannot be developed in a uh, one night. It is developed from the childhood to the higher education. No doubt, now the trend is changing. Higher education, there is a lot of changing. And uh, new and new technology now, suppose the artificial intelligence, machine learning, these are the quite new trends. And it is to be adopted. And not it is just a technological subject. The artificial intelligence, we are all, we all are using that artificial intelligence. We are just thumping face identification. It is just a um, uh, artificial intelligence building. But the super artificial intelligence is, in the coming days you will see. Suppose when we are doing, suppose I am pursuing my master's from one library to another library, I am visiting the Gujarat University, Atira and other library, writing, suppose I found any paper, writing to that author, after one month, two months, I get the answer and details. Now in a moment you are getting it, everything. So definitely there is a lot of change and this uh, conference will definitely provide a platform to the young researchers. In government of India is also trying uh, by different ways. Suppose since last year, our government is collecting the problems from the different ministry. And all these problems, they are placed on website and it is open for all students to try to solve that problem, give their ideas to solve their problems. Last year about 40,000 students participated and it was in a 26 different location, Smart India Hackathon. Now the, this year there are 50 ministry, problem of 50 ministry and 22 state they will be solved by our young minds in 29, sorry, in 30 and 31st March in a 30 different location. GTU is one location in Gujarat. With ISRO and GTU, uh, there are about 50 teams from different parts of the India. They will hear and non-stop 36 hours with a mentors, scientists, the young team, and each team of a six students, minimum two girls in each team, they will try to solve the problems. And after 36 years, the first team will be awarded. Last year, the team which was awarded, now the railway department has given uh, the order to them for their ideas to solve the problems. Textile ministry also given their number of agriculture ministry. So our young mind is capable to do 
and solve the problem. There is no consultancy is required from outside. Uh, young mind is uh, capable to do, and government of India is trying to do. So it's a very good event in just coming days. So again, thank you very much to give me a uh, to chance to interact with you. Thank you, Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Dear Most Reverend Bishop Gregory Karotangrel, the founder, president of the Christ Institutions. Dr. Navin Sheth, the Vice Chancellor of GTU University and the Chief Guest of the function. Dear Dr. P. L. Chowan, the inaugurator as well as the former Vice Chancellor of South Russia University. <laughs> Dear Dr. Sri Haram Dutchi, the Vice Chancellor of, from Indonesia. Dr. Prajapati, the Vice Chancellor of Patan University. The Dr. Mahendra Padalia, the Vice Chancellor of uh, Godera University. The uh, professors the panelists, the speakers, and not taking because it's a long list because of the lack of time not going. Dear Doctor, Father Doctor Benny, the campus director. Uh, dear Mr. Doctor Thangachan, the principal Christ Institute of Management. Ivan Fernandez, the principal Christ College. Ms. Nifi Agogia, the principal Christ Institute of Management. Father Anish, uh, Christ Polytechnic Institute, Father Anish, the invited guests, the uh, students. We are dealing with a topic which speaks about the emerging global trends. You know we are living in a society where a lot of changes are happening day by day. Because of the development and growth in science and technology, in communication media, the information technology, in transportation systems, the whole world has become a village, a global village. So, and this Society as a whole is changing every day. The global trends changes. So it is primarily everybody has to change. The speakers before me has already said the need to change. I too was because one aspect of this today's our theme is about change. We have to make changes. When I was very young, the first time when I got a watch, my father asked, because that time we get a watch only when we are in SSC. That time, now children get it. That time it was a, then my father asked them, I said, if you give me a watch, you have to give me a HMT watch. That was the most prestigious. I was from Kerala that time, I think the other places also. That was the best available watch at that time. When I got a mobile, first time before becoming bishop, I was a father, I was in charge of the social work. We got a mobile phone when the, after the earthquake, because we have to connect so the, immediately for the uh, relief and rehabilitation program. Then I said, if you, if you buy the mobile, should be a Nokia mobile. When Bishop Gregory became the bishop, when he bought the car, he bought the ambassador car. Because that was the best of that time, as a bishop should be some part good car. Because, and you know the situation today of these three, we don't see I think there is no 
in Chanti watches in the market. There is mobile Nokia may be there, but that is not the mobile of the day. Ambassador car is not the car of the day. Because all these You, when the time changes, the society changes, the technology changes, they did not make the changes. They are not in the society. So we have to make changes according to the development in science and technology, management and everything. Every moment an institution can sustain, can be sustained only if it makes changes. Even this Christ institutions, if it has to remain in the forefront of the educational arena, they have to change. Every day, the institution has to change. The companies has to, they have to change. And all individuals too have to change. The students, you also have to make changes. Changes are always very difficult thing. To make changes, nobody likes to have change. Because we are, the most comfortable thing is not to make changes. In a person, say, human beings, the most comfortable position or the stage in his or her life is when that person is in the womb of the mother. Very comfortable. Nothing to be worried. Everything is provided. But the person cannot remain there for long. After nine months, automatically will be pushed out. And again in the lap of the mother, comfortable. No, cannot remain there. You have to change. Go to the school, to the college. So in the, each person has to change. You have to change. Today's, you know the theory is that you have to excel or exit. You have to perform or you will perish. This is the rule of the day. So I am requesting the participants see that the real change should happen not every day, every moment in our life according to the global trends in order to be successful. So other than the change, the second idea I want to share is that you see it is the trends in humanity uh, science, technology, commerce, management, it's all different. But there should be a unity. Unity in diversity. Diversity is there. But at the same time, you have to be united. Even we look to God. God is, there is unity in diversity. According to Christianity, God is one, but there are three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Father is the flesh, Son is the Word, became flesh, and the Holy Spirit is the same. In our Hindu religion, it is Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. There is different, but unity. So, this unity is needed in diversity. Different sciences, different things. We have to see that we have to get united at the same time even though we are different. This difference in this society, we belong to different religions, different castes, different nationalities, different uh, societies, but we have to get as different sciences and technologies have to be united, we too have to get united into it. This union only can make the real success. Each person also has to get united. I cannot be selfish and I can go, I cannot go like that. The unity should come in the person. The unity with the other. Even though I myself is not enough, I cannot be successful in this society. So I have to get united with the other. I have to get united with 
the society. I have to get united with the religion, with the nature, ultimately with God. When that kind of a perfect blending of these diversities happens, then only really we can be successful. So unity is needed, not uniformity. Sometimes there is a trend nowadays, we look only for uniformity. The monoculture, mono-religion, that is very dangerous. That can never be successful, and that never will exist. It will be doomed in the long run. So see that we accommodate to the others, with the people of other, and also accept the different streams of the sciences and technology, so that we will become a kind of a unity in within ourselves. We will be able to comprehend everything and will become successful. So one is change, the other is the unity among the all. So this is what I want to say. I'm not taking much of your time. I congratulate uh, Christ institutions who have taken the this challenge to organize the international seminar, the campus director, Father Benny, along with Father Anish, then the principals, <laughs> Uh, Dr. Tangachan, uh, Dr. Ivan Fernandez, the two Institute of Management at the college who organized this function. I congratulate them and see that this kind of trends, as I said, changes. We know what is the trend and we make changes so that the institutions will progress well. I also uh, thank all the dignitaries came from different nations, different universities, and uh, also the participants who have come from different places. I wish all the success for these uh, two days of this conference. I invoke God's blessings on all of you and wish you all the best. Thank you. request Father Benny, Joseph, the director of Christ Campus, to present his mentor to Endang Mahatapi, the vice director of Universitas Vijayakusa Masalvaya, our chief event partner. Thank you. As we come, come to the conclusion, Parambil, President of the Ceremony, His Excellency Bishop Emeritus Gregory Karochampuran, Chief Guest Dr. Naveen Shet, Inaugurator Dr. Pratap C. Chauhan, Guests of Honor, Special Guests, Panel Members, Plenary Speakers, Resource Persons, Reverend Father Dr. Benny Joseph, Father Anish, Dr. KJ Tankachan, Dr. Yvonne Fernandez, Ms. Nempia Bogia, esteemed delegates from different parts of the country and abroad, and your students. 
A very good morning to all. Appreciation is the highest form of prayer for it acknowledges the presence of good wherever you shine the light of your thankful thoughts. It is my privilege that I've got an opportunity to propose vote of thanks to appreciate and acknowledge the presence and contribution of luminaries in the field of education. There is no telling how much power God can put into a man. When divine strength comes, human weakness is no more a hindrance. I would like to take this opportunity to place on record our hearty thanks to His Excellency Bishop Jose Chitu Parambil, President of the function, for providing us this divine strength by His presence and blessings. We are very fortunate to have with us today Bishop Emeritus Gregory Karo Temporal. We always feel spiritually empowered in His presence. We are extremely grateful to him for having consented to grace the ceremony with his presence and bless us on this occasion. A person who has always encouraged and supported the trend-setting events like this deserves special mention. We are very grateful to Dr. Naveen Sheet, chief guest of the ceremony, for extending his support to this event with his kind presence. A special mention for a person who has been a permanently, so permanently accessible source of inspiration for such thought-provoking initiatives. I express my gratitude towards Dr. Pratap C. Chauhan, inaugurator of the conference, for always being there to encourage such initiatives. Thank you, sir, even for agreeing to be a member in the panel discussion. I also extend my thanks to guest of honor, Dr. Mahendra Pajalia, for his valuable contribution in terms of his eminent presence in the ceremony. I also wish to express my sincere gratitude to keynote speakers, Dr. H. Shri Harmadji uh, and Dr. B. A. Prajapati for sparing their valuable time to remain present in the ceremony and special thanks for having agreed upon to perform the significant task of setting the direction for further deliberations and discussions. Further, we are grateful to special guests, Dr. S. J. Uh, Bhayani, Dr. Mehul Rupani, Dr. Hitesh Shukla, and Dr. Paresh Joshi, and Advocate Chetan Kochari for having their special presence to support an event of this kind. The best vision is insight. For having an insightful discussion and knowledge sharing, we have with us panelists. I acknowledge the presence of Dr. Nandini Kanan and Dr. Rajesh Jain. We express our heartiest thanks to them for gracing this occasion with their presence. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation for plenary speakers, Dr. Rusvayati, Dr. Nena Pajila Valdez, and Dr. B.J. Rao for their presence in the function and also for their consent to share knowledge in their areas of expertise. To enlighten student delegates, we have resource person with us, Mr. Varadamurti K.S. for Student Development Program. My deep regards and thanks to him for accepting our invitation to be a part of inaugural ceremony. Nothing ever comes to one that is worth having except as a result of hard work. I acknowledge the esteemed presence of people who have put their hard efforts for making this event happen. Father Dr. Benny Joseph, Father Anish, Dr. K.J. Tankachan, Dr. Yvonne Fernandez, and Ms. Nymphia Gogia in the ceremony and express my gratitude towards them for their continued and wholehearted support to such endeavors. We thank our sponsors, Federal Bank, KK Investments, and Ashwin Metal Industries, our hospitality partner, Seasons Hotel, outdoor publicity partner, Global Publicity, media partner, Uptuck, and radio partner, Red FM, for the contribution in terms of providing valuable resources for the successful conduct of an event. I acknowledge the presence of Ms. Richard Butch from Seasons Hotel, Mr. Shashi Dharan from Federal Bank, Mrs. Simona Javed Nathani from Global Publicity and Ms. Sheetal from Abdak. My thanks also goes to all the people who are here to make value additions in different capacities in the field of education. At the end, I once again thank this distinguished assemblage for their august presence amongst us on this occasion. Thank you. Really, it's a very good conference, and they have decided the education in a center and the different topics. 
so definitely uh, the any researcher or the young scientist it, it will be better uh, this platform will be a good platform for the young scientist uh, yeah so the major changes is required that the pride should be from the beginning our students knows in history who conquered us who looted us who raped us but he don't know what is the contribution of india uh, and that's why he don't have the pride for the nation so to build the pride there must be a dramatic and drastically changes are required in the education system how this conference brings up to the students for the benefits of such things like international conference so definitely there are various resource person from all over the world and the all over the india and the deliberation and discussion will be definitely boost the uh, innovative ideas and creativity of the young students सर तुम इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस 2018 जो ना सब्जेक्ट पण बहुत डिफरेंट छे उभरता लोकने उभरता लोकने प्रोत्साहन आपवाना तुम्ही नावाते सु केसो लाइक क्राइस्ट कॉलेज एंड क्राइस्ट इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ मॅनेजमेंट वे आज ए कॉन्फ्रेंस नो इंटरनेशनल थर्ड इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस नो आयोजन करू छे एनो विषय पण बहुत सारो विषय लिदो छे के थर्ड इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ए ग्लोबल ट्रेंड्स एंड ह्यूमनिटीज साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट एजुकेशन आख विश्व ए हायर एज्युकेशन अंदर चेन्ज थी रू है भारत की अंदर चार करोड़ बतीस लाख लोग हायर एज्युकेशन अंदर भाई रहा है अपनी मोटी समस्या ए देश की ए रही है कि एक सौ पचास यूनिवर्सिटी वर्ल्ड की बेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी हो एक भारतीय यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं मैं लगे कि कारणों ग्लॉबल चेन्ज थी रहा है हायर एज्युकेशन अंदर एने क्या क्या अकोमोडेट करने प्रक्रिया है ये थी सके नहीं मैं लगे कि आवा प्लेटफॉर्म इंटरनेशनल लेवल आ प्लेटफॉर्म है आम इंडोनेशिया फिलिपाइन्स और भारतना बहुज मोटा लोग आंदर आया है बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटी वाइस चांसलर पर आया है आना पर डिस्कस थाय कि जे ग्लॉबल ट्रेन्ड्स है हायर एज्युकेशन पर्टिक्युलर इन दी ह्यूमनिटीज जे लिबरल आर्ट्स अपने कही है साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट आंदर जो ग्लॉबल पेरामीटर्स है ये पेरामीटर्स ने कई रीते इंडियन हायर एज्युकेशन में एड थी सके अकोमोडेट थी सके एना आ प्लेटफॉर्म है मन लगे कि आंदर घा पेपर आखी एनी बुक्स पेपर बहार पड़ी है और क्राइस कॉलेज कायम मैं आवा इनोवेटिव स्टेप लई आनी क्राइस कॉलेज साथ सौराष्ट्र यूनिवर्सिटी पर एसोसिएशन में है हूँ पोते पेनल डिस्कशन एना इनोग्रेटर तरीके आयो छु मैं लगे कि टीचिंग पड़ागोगी आप जो हालनी है एने क्या वैश्विक लेवल पर कई चेन्ज थी रहा है अकोमोडेट करने हायर एज्युकेशन इंस्टिट्यूशन में खूब जरूर है नंबर बे के जो इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर है ऊभा कर रहा है आप ए इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड ना के रीते आप एट्ल बढ़ो मस चार करोड़ बतीस लाख लोग जो ए हायर एज्युकेशन अंदर भणता हो तो एना व्यवस्था पर सरकार विचार भी पड़ से तीज करिकुलम है एने एवरी यर वी हेव टू अपडेट अत्य लोकल नीड्स है इंडस्ट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ए प्रमाण ने तेरे स्किल पीपल तेरे आप पड़ से ए नही आप के प्रोफेशनल कोर्स में पात्र टका लोग ज इम्प्लॉयबल है ग्रेज्युट जो थी रहा है यनी अंदर पर ट्वेंटी फोर पर्सेंट लोग ज इम्प्लॉयबल है तो जो इम्प्लॉयबल नहीं कारण शू ए शोध मैं लगे कि आवा इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म पर दरक देश पोता रजू कर सी कंक हायर एज्युकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म ऑनरेबल नरेन्द्र मोदी साहब जे आखो एक मॉडल न्यू एज्युकेशन पॉलिसी में लई ने जा रहा है मैं लगे कि एर इनपुट्स आ कॉन्फरस मध्यम थी इनपुट मल से कदाच भारत ने जो जरूरियात है ये भारतीय शिक्षण व्यवस्था ए आवा प्लेटफॉर्म मध्यम थी एना इनपुट्स मध्यम थी ए उभी थे और यो लाभ ए भारत देश ने आखा ने ए मे एवं अमरी आ कॉन्फरस पाचड़ों हेतु है बद मैंने श्री हरमा जी a professor from university which is a kusumasura baya indonesia we 
come here to do a collaboration with university in India. So collaboration is very important for us to increase our rank. Now our rank is 165 of 3,000 high education in Indonesia. So the collaboration will increase our rank. Maybe, uh, I hope, in the rank of 150. This okay, so what is your experience in India? You have been here before or this is your first time in India? Uh, I don't, this is my first time in Indonesia, in India. Okay, so and how do you like our hospitality or uh, say something yes, about your country? I, I like very much. Uh, so you have yeah, tasted our food, Indian food? No, uh, no, 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 from us. Okay, sir. So, uh, how do you know about uh, PM Modi? Do you know him? Yes, what of is course. Your, what is your, uh, uh, what is, what is your uh, compliment for him about uh, PM? Uh, I know him in uh, because we have met in, in Bali, okay. Indonesia, okay. and I know him too. Okay, so thank you okay. so much for your time.